Praise the Lord. Wacheni tuombe. And Father, once more, we humble before your presence this morning. We worship you, we exalt you, we honor you, and we adore you. Indeed, you are a good and you are a faithful God. You are mighty and you are loving King of glory. And this morning, our hearts are open to your word, King of glory. I commit myself before you, my Father. I lift myself before you. I humble Jehovah God. Ninapungua mbelezako baba. Ili ukapate kuongezeka. For it is not about me, King of glory. It is all about you, my Father. It is all about your word, O King of glory. I commit each and every person who has come into your house today, Jehovah God, that you are going to meet each and every one of of us, Jehovah God, me included, Jehovah God. I desire that I may have a personal encounter with you today. I desire that each and everyone who stepped here, Jehovah, will experience you in a special and in a different way. For the glory of your holy name, my Father, we know that you don't gather your people in vain. We know that you have laid a table before us, my Father. And now I welcome the presence of your Holy Spirit, which has been manifest in your house this morning, my Father. May it take over. May it sweep over. Touching every heart. Tap with every soul, Jehovah God. And as I bring your word to your people, Jehovah God, it is your word, Jehovah God. I know your word is powerful, my Father. Dividing the soul and the bones and the marrows and the heart and the spirit, King of glory. Bringing transformation to the hearts of men. My Father, this morning, I decree, my Father, that you are going to touch each every heart. He each every soul, Jehovah God, minister to everyone who came expecting my father. And for those that came not expecting, may you grant them an expected heart, Jehovah. For those that have a heavy heart, Jehovah God, may you heal those hearts, Jehovah God. May you deliver those that are in bondage, Jehovah God. For wherever you went, my father, you did good. For the glory and honor, Baba Baba Karima Mama Sika, we surrender all unto you, Jehovah. We surrender the service before for you. We surrender our hearts before you. Our minds we should be alert in the mighty name of Jesus. We take captive of every power of darkness. Every spirit that comes to give us lumber. Every spirit that brings heaviness. Every spirit that comes to take away your word my father so that your people are not blessed. We take captive of it now. We destroy it. We render it powerless. We destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare that it has no place in this sanctuary. Lord, may you reign. Reign and have your way, Jehovah God. Sweep over in a special way, Holy Spirit of God. Taking captive of every heart, Jehovah God. And any soul that came here and does not know you, and Lord Ababa Zandara Baba Sika, this is the day of salvation. And we declare that many may come to your saving knowledge. Even those that are hearing us from your house, Jehovah God, from their houses around this sanctuary, may you speak to their hearts. May you touch them, Jehovah. May you minister to Echenara Baba Suntokori Mamazika. We worship you, Jehovah God. We bless your holy name. We exalt you, my Father. I pray that you may give me utterance. Holy Spirit of God, take over. For it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray, trusting and believing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house? Yes. Salimia Mwenzako, ask them, are their hearts ready to receive from the Lord? Bwana Asifiwe. The Lord is here. He is ready to minister to you through his word. He is ready to speak to you. Munaeza keti. Na buwana wabariki. Tunapoka miguuni pwa Yesu. Buwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina niliona tukona mgeni. Na nilipo kuwa hapa asubui nilimutazama. Ninauliza huyu ni mama Grace. Jane maina wa sister. Ama ni dada yake. Nanina, I believe it is the sister of Jane. Thank you, Sister Jane, and your sister for coming. Karibu sana mgeni. That is evangelism. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana akukabariki kwa kumkaribisha mgeni. Na nataka kutambua mgeni mwingine. In our church, we don't embarrass people. So, ukiulizwa kama we ni mgeni, ukiinua tu mkono, auta ambiwa usalimia watu, auta ulizwa kama umeokoka. We like uh, recognizing you. Uh, we also came with a visitor. She is my niece, but I can call her my daughter. She is Lynn. Karibu sana mgeni wetu, Lynn. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Tumpigiani makofi. Na kama kuna mwingine pia unakaribishwa. After service, please see our sister Cecilia. 
and remember that God loves you and he loves all of us. Uh, this morning I am born again. I'm blessed and the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord becomes our strength. And if the joy of the Lord is not your strength, then we need to ask him to restore the joy of our salvation. Bwana asifiwe, saingine mambo inakuwa magumu, tunapungukiwa, tunasikia atuna furaha ya wokovu. Na neno la mungu linatuambia, we should ask the Lord to restore the joy of our salvation day by day, because that is what keeps us moving. Hallelujah. Kwa majina naitwa Nora Matindi, kwa ajili ya wageni wetu, na nimeokoka, na kristo ni buwana. But that is not the most important thing about myself. The greatest thing that I love is that Bwana alinipata nikiwa mwenye dhambi, akaniokoa, akanikomboa na hadi wa leo amenidumisha katika wokovu. I don't take it for granted. So that is hiyo ndio ninajivunia wokovu wa Yesu. Maana bila yeye, we used to have a pastor Mwoki who used to tell us, kama si Yesu, tungekuwa tumekufa wengine wetu tumezikwa na shingo ikakatika bwana asifiwe yes so kama sio yesu singekuwa hapa leo so huyo yesu ninamjuvunia asubuhi ya leo and i'm very humbled to be here today to bring the word of god to us um, even to stand before seasoned men of god reverends pastors elders you know and all of you beautiful men and women of god it takes the hand of God. Asante sana, Reverend Mwithi, for giving me this opportunity. No, it is not easy to stand here. Even to get a word. Si tupigia pastors wetu makofi. Kama, kama wanawezanga kusimama hapa every Sunday, wanatuletea neno na tunabarikiwa. Hakika huyo ni buwana, ni kibarua. Mimi, I really dread kuambiwa niseme neno, ni kuja ni ubiri, but it's not easy. It's not easy. Hapa kuna kuanga moto ingine. Hata ujui useme nini, ujue uanze nini. But the Lord, the Holy Spirit is faithful. When we surrender to him, he speaks to us. So uh, the message of today, and uh, before we start the message, I am already blessed. Amen. I am already ministered to. Tangu niingia katika hii nyumba saa tatu. Nimebarikiwa maombi, worship, praise. Hata nikiambiwa niende nyumbani saa hii. Niaweza sema ni sawa bwana asifiwe maana bwana amekuwa hapa ametuhudumia ametutembelea tanzia friday nilikuwa hapa friday i was wondering why does kesha have to end at midday i know there are good reasons but let me tell you it was a kesha with a difference atukusikia kusinzia atukusikia kuchoka hata saa sita ilifika i was feeling like ndio tunaanza bwana yesu asifiwe so god is really here he is ministering to us he is speaking to us so wacheni tupatikane Na tayari mimi nimebarikiwa hata tukiambiwa tuende Bwana amesha nena na sisi amesha tuhudumia amesha inua roho yangu and I feel so blessed. Um, the word of today tunaendelea tu na ile ministration ilikuwa hapa asubuhi. It's a continuation of Friday and this morning because times are difficult we are living in very in very perilous times. Yaani nyakati ni mbaya there is a darkness that has covered the earth. Yani there is wickedness. Maisha imekuwa ngumu. Yani mambo hayeleweki. But what are we called to do as the body of Christ? Ours is to decrease. To decrease so that the Lord can increase in us. Because shetani halali. Bwana asifiwe. And like Sister Pendo said, eh, the coming of the Lord is closer than when we began. Kuja kwake Yesu Kristo kumekaribia sana. Because we are already seeing the signs. Unajua kitambo ama farmer. I used to farm. I do a bumper harvest. Nakuwa na maindi. Nauza nini mboga. Siku hizi ya kunyeshi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na tunaita climate change. Yes it is climate change. Wasomi tunasoma. Eh, limu inaongezeka. Technology it is true. But the signs of the end times. Jesus can come any time. And like our sister, Rev. Pendo asked us, how prepared are you? How prepared is your heart? Yesu akikuja leo, tutaenda na yeye binguni. Maana wakati umekaribia, wakuja kwa Yesu. 
na nyakati zinaendelea kukua difficult. I don't know Kiswahili tutasema aje. Zinakuwa ngumu. Nyakati zimearibika. Nilipozaliwa many years ago, things were so easy. There was culture, community. Tulikuwa tunalelewa kama community watoto wote. Mama mmoja sijui nini. Ukifanya makosa, and your neighbor can correct you. But these days, things have changed. So everything is changing and changing very fast. Things are moving very fast. And things are not about to get better. Mambo ayata kuwa raisi, na ayata kuwa mzuri, na ayata kuwa fadhali. So, as Christians, we cannot afford to live kawaida. We cannot live business as usual. Atuwezi kande, wacha niseme tunde, let me use that word. Eh? Yani kukaa tu hivi, maisha itusukume na itupeleke. There is something we need to do. And uh, the sermon for today is from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1. I'll be reading and jumping some verses. I may not read some, I may paraphrase, and then Nabwana atatubariki. So Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, and before I even begin there, from the morning worship, tumekua tukisema, Yesu anatosha. Yesu ni muku. Yesu anaweza. Na ninataka kukuuliza wewe, na mimi. Now it is not corporate, personally. Do you know Jesus? Kama Yesu ule anatosha. Na kama hajatosha. Kwa nini hajatosha kwa maisha yako? Kama umeokoka? Lazima Yesu akue anatosha. Mana neno lake linatuambia Yesu anatosha. His promises are ye and amen. Yani neno la mungu ni kweli. Na yale anatenda ni maku. Na anayatenda kwa upendo. Kwa hivyo kama ujasikia Yesu akitosha kwa maisha yako. Juulize ni kwa nini. Maybe you are the reason. Maybe I am the reason. Kama kuna jambo unasikia, unapitia, kuna mambo unataka, na unaona Yesu hatoshi. Na neno lake linasema Yesu anatosha. Juulize kwa nini. Umeamini. Unasoma hilo neno la, la Yesu. Na unaliamini. Take Jesus for whom he is and for his word. Tumeimba tukasema yale anatenda ni meku. Bwana amekutembea amekutendea mambo maku. Juulize tu as an individual. Hata mimi na juuliza. Labda kuna mambo amekutendea na una, you feel kuna jambo lingine kubwa zaidi nataka mungu anitende. Na tunaambiwa na neno la mungu. Anaweza yote. Anatosha kwa kila jambo. Yeye ni mponyaji. Uwa ugonjwa umekusumbua miaka mingi. At the cross of Calvary, he said all is finished. Kwa mapigo yake, tulipona. Kwa hivo, tunaeza kumuitia huyu yesu na aponye. Kama ni provision, he is the provider. Kato in a thousand hills belonged. What is that need you need? That financial challenge, yanya imekukalia sana. Mpaka imekulalia. Uwezi ya muka, uwezi inua kichwa. Hata saa ingine unakushindwa kukuja maombi, unasema, oi mi ni kona shida. Wacha kwanza ni katafute pesa. Ni vizuri kutafuta pesa. Lakini wakati wabwana ni wakati wabwana. Be found in the presence of the Lord. Wana asifiwe. Hata tunapo tafuta hizi pesa. Na nina kuambia na nina jiambia. Do we make time for the Lord? So that when you are in his presence, unamuambia, I'm taking you for your word. You said silver and gold belong to you. Can you avail this silver to me? The church, we are powerless. Wana asifiwe. Because of our own undoing. We are not getting intimate with our maker. Hatupatikani katika uwepo wa buwana. Hatusomi neno la buwana. Maana tukisema neno la buwana ni ndiyo na amina. Kama silijui haliko kwa moyo wangu na silitamuki. Lazima tulitamuke every day and every hour. Because the Lord is faithful. Kuna wimbo tunaimbanga. He is faithful every day and every hour. But are we calling him every day and every hour? And telling him God these are your promises. I am standing by them. Mm -hmm. I used to testify here on Yakitambo. I have very recent, I have current testimonies. But others are the money siwezi sahau. Kuna jambo nilipitia. Hili bibilia langu hili. I put it down. One left leg ila kasimama hapa na ingine hapa. Kwa sababu ni neno labwana. Na ninasikia sina imani enough. So I had to step on that word. And I told the Lord, wacha hii neno ipitia kwa migu yangu. Iingia kwa roho yangu. 
ndio ikapate kutenda yani we must have that crazy faith we must have that crazy faith of just taking the word and telling the lord hapa ulisema hivi bwana chukua hata kiti weka biblia hapo na uongee like jesus is sitting on that seat because he's with us mwambie bwana ulisema hivi na neno lako you are not a man to lie so can you do it for me but as he's doing for him for you what have you also done for him are we doing what we are supposed to do wacheni bwana atusaidie hata nami akinisaidia so ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 it starts by saying be imitators of god as dear children sisi ni watoto wa mungu na tunaambiwa tufanane na yesu so who is god i was asking myself what are the virtues or what is the nature of god and there there is an answer in the word of god it says that god is love bwana ni upendo na tumesikia tukiimbiwa hapa unajua tukisikia vijana hawa wanatuongoza don't take it for granted just take that song that is being sung and those words because they always speak they sing the word of god Julize, is that song i am singing working for me because tume, tumeimba bwana anatenda kwa upendo anatupenda sana hakika bwana anatupenda if you are doubting allow me to believe for you jesus loves you he loves me he loves you anatupenda sana na ako na mpango mwema for all of us to give us a future and a hope so we cannot dare to be hopeless we cannot dare to give up because yes yani i don't know what i can say kama mimi ni mzazi ninapenda watoto wangu na kila mtu ambaye ni mzazi hapa anapenda watoto si ndio and you do the best for your children now can you imagine god our maker the way he loves us we owe so much to him for the love that he has loved us so can we love him in return can we love on friday we were here and we were being told can you love on this jesus mwambie tu asante baba umenipenda na mimi nakupenda ninakuinua ninakushukuru you know we just need you know jesus and god we were created to worship god that is the only thing mungu hawezi jifanyia ndio alituumba tumwabudu kwa hivyo wadada na wandugu can we tell god to give us a heart of worship that he may wa- we may worship him in spirit and in truth because alituumba tumwabudu it may not be a very sweet message but that is the word of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe hata mimi lilikalia ngumu sana because sijahitimu but nikaambia ni, at midnight 11 i was sitting changing this message because i had another message it was not easy it is the message of the lord Amen. to me and to you i was singing i was i may not i have notes but i may not even use these notes let the spirit just speak i w- have been listening anaitwa gloria mulira ndio aliimba uliniumba ni kuabudu si ndio am i right angela angela kibalonza and her daughter when she died i think her daughter was either four months or four years i don't know either of that is it months four months bwana yesu asifiwe can you imagine uzae mtoto na ukufe akiwa four months some of you you have been brought up by your parents now you have seen the love of the parent na or even no, if you didn't have a parent you had a guardian or a mentor hata hapa kanisani kuna watu wa mama wao wako hapa na wa baba but you have fathers in the church you have sisters you have mentors you have leaders you know i listened to the story of this girl and she was singing hiyo uliniumba ni kuabudu in another version na alikuwa anasema i i listen sijaisikiza vizuri but it touched my soul alikuwa anaimba baba alimuumba amwabudu na akaimba ya kwamba mamake alimuacha akiwa four months but the lord bwana yesu asifiwe but the lord can you imagine wewe uliacho ukiwa mjenzi ine i doubt none of us i think none of us na kama kunaye umbali umefika ni yesu miezi ine ni mtoto ananyonya god has carried that girl amemulea amemulinda yani you can see this our god yeye ni baba wa yatima haleluya ni mume wa wajande usiwahi jiurumia we have a father we have a god he loves us he cares for us i think the girl is now 13 years ameona vile mungu amembeba 
from four months up to now. I think she's 13. She's just singing to the Lord and praising the Lord and telling, Uli ni umba ni kuabudu, uli ni wacha mnikiwa miezi. Ine, ukamupa baba yangu nguvu, anile. You can imagine a single father bringing up a daughter four months. Isn't that the love of God? I think Jesus really loves us. Na wewe, ukona bahati, ukona baba, ukona mama, ukona wazazi, you have mentors, but are we worshiping the Lord? Because he created us to worship him. What are we doing with our time? We need to arise, church. Me included. I think we are taking very many things for granted. And I challenge us. Enda usikize uyo mustana. Akiimba hiyo wimbo. You will shed tears. Personally, I did shed tears. And I was just shedding because I'm seeing the faithfulness of God. Kama mungu anaeza lea mtoto wa miezi mine. It's not about the father. It's about God. This was a servant of God. Wewe unamfanyia mungu kazi gani? Maana, mungu anaeza kukuchukua awacha watoto wako. But if you are faithful to God, he will take care of those children. That's why we need not worry about our future. Our future is in the hands of God. We only need to know who we are in Christ. We only need to know which God we are serving. He is such a mighty God. Such a faithful God. Such a powerful God. What is it that he cannot do? But we. Do, are we worshipping him? Are we seeking his face? Are we doing his will? I know all of us are doing it. Because we are born again, we are in the church. But we need to go another level. We need to go intimate with our father. Kama tunataka kumuona, zaidi na zaidi. Kama tunataka kuona uaminifu wake, na upendo wake. I'm imagining this girl was so innocent. She didn't even know she doesn't have a mother. She didn't care. Na even diyo mungu anataka tukue. We are bothered with so many things that don't add value to our lives. Unataka kujua maisha ya mutu, anakula nini, anafanya nini, kumusengenya, kwa nini akuja kanisa, kwa nini akuja. Okay, if, if for a good cause, it is okay. But these many things we are involved in doing has it to saidi katika ufalme. May the Lord help us. So hapo nilikuwa kwa God is love. Our God is holy. He is holy and Reverend Pendo just said it in the morning. Mungu wetu ni mtakatifu. Na anataka tukue watakatifu. We are human, we are weak, we have our short, shortcomings. But his strength is made perfect in our weakness. So ata kama wewe unasikia you are weak, you don't deserve, ujafanya vile, you should not give up. You should keep desiring, desiring. Venye tunesema tupungue mungu wa ongezeke. Tuki mutafuta zaidi, tuki soma neno lake. Ili tujue anataka tufanya nini. Na hakika ata tusaidia. And because God is holy, we cannot be holy without the Holy Spirit. Lazima tutamani kujazwa na roo mtakatifu. Kanisa la leo, we are not powerful because we are running away from the Holy Spirit. You know, watu wanaogopa roo mtakatifu. Ata mimi kabla ni jazwa nilikuwa na, what is this, you know? People look like they are mad, they are crazy, they are speaking in tongues. But I was desiring. Because I realized, kama uja jazwa na roho, kama uonge inandimi, ni vizuri kuonge anandimi because you communicate with God in a language that men cannot understand. Even the devil cannot understand. Nakindi sahi ni kianza kuomba mungu ni bariki, mungu ni saidia. Si shetani ya nasikia. But the moment you go deeper, you connect with the Lord. You have an encounter with the Lord. Your life is transformed, you know. The Lord speaks to you. Sasa kukua holy, si raisi. It is very difficult. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, He is our helper. Kama leo wewe ujajazwa na roo mtakatifu tamani, utajazwa. Maana yuko hapa. Ata kupea nguvu mpya, ata kusaidia, ata kuwezesha. Manake, when you are also holy, you are getting more intimate with the Lord. Young men and young women, it is possible. You can be holy, you can be righteous. We can make mistakes, we can fall, it doesn't matter. You forget about the past, you move on. And tell the Lord to help you. Joseph made it. He was the father of Jesus. He was a virgin. Bikira, Mary, she made it. She was a girl. She was a young girl. She made it. It is possible. It is doable. Yes, we can live a life that is sinless. 
with the help of the Holy Spirit. It is manageable with the help of the Holy Spirit. Because wickedness imeongezeka sana. Wickedness, dhambi imeongezeka dunia, corruption, you know, all kinds of things, killings, suicide. Yani mambo ni magumu hadi, watu, people are losing hope in life. But we who have Jesus, we cannot afford to lose hope. Because Christ is our hope in glory. Hallelujah. Kwa hivo, sisi ndiyo chuvi. We are the light. Sisi ndiyo wengine waki give up tunawambia, no, there is hope in Christ. Let us soldier on. Let us be strong. Let us be courageous. We said God is love and God is holy. Let us purpose to be holy. Let us be intentional. Tunashindwa kama binadamu tunanguka. But when we fall, we rise. A man will fall seven times, but he will rise again. Hallelujah. Because the mercies of God are new every morning. Let us purpose to be holy. The other, in that same verse, see mimi ni nasema haya, enda usome tu Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1, eh? Ama mukitaka tusome, tutasoma, but I want to move very fast. Uh, in the same verse it says, as, as dear children, God is love, holy, and now I'm looking at the, at the attributes of God. And I said, God, apart from being holy, he is the savior. Hallelujah. He is the savior of the world. Alikuja ili tukapate kuokoka na tukiokoka wekovu si wetu peke zetu. Wokovu ni wetu, jamii zetu, our colleagues in the marketplace, we in the neighborhood. We are co-workers together with Christ. Ndiposa Yesu aweze kuokoa ulimwengu, alikuja kwa ajili ya ulimwengu uliopotea, but we are co-workers with Christ. Therefore, we must partner with God in bringing lives to God, in bring, causing salvation. And the word of God tells us that when you receive the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will receive power. And you will become witnesses. Hallelujah. Amen. From Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and to the uttermost. How many people have we witnessed to? In our Jerusalem, Jerusalem yako, kama we ni mzee, your wife is born again, your children, are they born again, your brothers and sisters, are they born again, kule umeoa, your in-laws, are they born again, brothers, sisters, parents, parents-in-law, kila mtu wetu ni kiwauliza hapa, utasema kuna mtu kwa boma yetu ajaokoka, sindio? Not everybody in our families is born again, from our spouses to our children, to our brothers and sisters, to our in-laws, to our grandparents, to our uncles, even to Jerusalem, Mungu atusaidie. We may not all be preachers, but you can just tell somebody Jesus loves you. Bring hope. Jesus gives hope. Karibisha mutu kwa kanisa, tuende kanisani kama uwezi muubiria. Pastor ataubiri, ataeza kuokoka, atakombolewa, ama atasikia neno, atatiliwa moyo. Sindio? So we have a duty to be co-workers with Christ, to bring souls to Jesus, Beginning, Jerusalem ni kubwa. You know, I was being challenged. I thought Jerusalem, I was not understanding Jerusalem. And then I was like, okay, kumbe my Jerusalem is so big. Niko na kazi. Niko na kazi, mume wangu wako na kazi, watoto wangu wako na Kila sisi wote, tumeokoka, tuko na kazi, kuwaombea. Kama uwezi waambia, waokoke, waombe. Have you taken a day to pray and fast for the salvation of your brother, your sister, your uncle, your relative? I think already our Jerusalem is so big, we have so much to do. Na mungu atusaidie. Because Jehovah is the savior of the world. And we are being asked to be his imitators. We cannot imitate him if we are not drawing souls to Christ like he did. And I long for those days. You know, kitambo, hizo siku tuliokoka, we used to have crusades. Tunaenda inje, tunaubiri. We were never ashamed of the gospel of Christ. We used to go door to door. Mungu atusaidie. Mimi included, Kanisa, Lamuad, all of us, even in Kenya, the body of Christ, all of us who are born again, you remember what you used to do and what I used to do. I long for the old time religion. Na itanga, old time religion. When ukiokoka, ulikuwa umeokoka, umewacha dhambi, unaangalia mbele, Pastor Mati can tell you. Hakuna kuangalia kando, hakuna kuangalia nyuma, yani it is given. Wherever you go, you are ambassador. You represent Christ. You speak about him confidently, boldly. 
siku hizi tunaogopa mimi nikiwa mmoja bwana asifiwe hata ukipigiwa simu eh dugu bwana asifiwe amen si ndio tutaki watu wajue tumeokoka because our actions we are not imitators of christ we don't even tell people we are born again we don't tell them about jesus may the lord help us that is the duty of man kumwabudu bwana na kusaidiana na bwana katika kuvua nafsi that is the great commission we need revival may the lord revive us once more the lord is the deliverer and the light of the world and if he is the deliverer and the light we are also to deliver we are co-workers with him in bringing deliverance in our own lives in our families in our neighborhoods at our workplace in the marketplace mungu anataka atutumie kama vyombo sisi ni vyombo lakini atujajipeana atujajitoa are we ready we need to be ready to be vessels of the lord to be used wherever we are to be the light ukipata mtu amefinyika sana ame you know akona ukosefu yani akona shida amelaliwa na shida we are not there to tell them oh the life is so difficult maisha imekuwa ngumu wewe ndio unafaa kuleta light to bring encouragement to bring deliverance you can encourage them you can read a verse for them you can pray for them there is a lot we can do na ni kila mmoja wetu sio pastor sio leader all of us we have a duty to be the light of the world wherever we are to bring deliverance to the world verse 8 says for you were once darkness but now you are light in the lord and walk as children of the light this one calls us to be examining ourselves let's re -exa are we just waking up unavaa nguo unaenda kazini siku imeisha unarudi tena unalala unaamka do we reexamine ourselves every day we are being called to reexamine ukiamka ambia bwana order my steps what do you want me to do give me the strength give me the courage fill me once more with your holy spirit you know we need revival every day to be able to do what the lord has called us to do verse 14 ndio ilinistua kabisa verse 14 says eh? awake you who sleeps arise from dead and christ will give you light hallelujah nilishangaa nikasema ukisikia neno ya mungu ikisema awake you who sleeps it means to melala to go sleeping mode we may be thinking okay nakuja kesha naomba but bado we need to go an extra mile we need to go deeper we are being asked by the word of god it is not me soma tu enda kwa biblia ama mnataka tusome verse 14 ephesians wacha tusome hiyo kuna mtu amefika tusome Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 Okay tusome Amen Hiyo ni neno ya Mungu inasema wake up sleeper It means sometimes we are sleeping na Mungu ameona tunalala So anatuambia tuamuke arise wake up sleeper and Christ will give you the light sometimes tunataka light ya Mungu tunataka mwangaza but we are sleeping si tukilala usiku kuna kuwa giza tunapoesha stima na kuna giza so sasa light itatoka wapi kama tumelala si lazima tuamke so kanisa wacheni tuamke we are being told by the word of god to wake up because we are in slumber and we arise from the dead ukilala ni kama ni kama tu umekufa na ni kwa neema za Mungu tukiendanga kulala hata ujui nini inakuamsha ni Mungu tu kuna watu wanalala na wanalala milele hawaamuki but because the lord wakes us up now he is telling us in the spirit let us wake up and be purposeful you know be you know be have a purpose to arise and to do what the lord and inquire of the lord of what he wants you to do day by day uh, because the lord would like us to illuminate the dark world through our lifestyle the actions that we do god wants us to illuminate the world and not i'm not talking about illumina, illuminati you know hiyo jina illuminati sijafanya homework mingi but it's like those people who are in illuminati are promised good things that they will lighten up when they join 
but for us, we have to illuminate the light of Christ, which is opposite of the dark world. So God is calling, uh, calling upon us to arise, shine through our lifestyle, through evangelism. I am sure to kikaribisha, kila mtu akikaribisha one person to the service. Na tuombe na tufunge. Hii kanisa itaja. Bwana asifiwe. These seats would not be empty. So God is calling upon us to reach out to those who are lost. Bring them to the house of the Lord. Speak to them about Jesus and show them the light. For we are the light. Now the bottom, the bottom line or the key verse for the message today is in um, verse 16. Why is the Lord telling us to arise? Why is the Lord telling us to wake up? Sio bure, kuna kitu mungu anajua. Na kuna kitu mungu anaona. Tunaeza kosa kukiona nao, but in the future we will see it in the spiritual realm. Verse 16 is saying, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Bwana asifiwe. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Nyakati zimearibika. What is evil in Kiswahili? Uovu. Thank you. Uovu umeongezeka. Elimu imeongezeka. Wickedness imeongezeka. Shida zimeongezeka. Economy inaaribika. Everything is worsening. And the Lord knew a time will come like this when things will be very difficult. So if we don't redeem the time, how are we redeeming this time? By getting deeper in Christ. By being more intimate with Christ. Because the word of God tells us when the enemy comes like a flood, Mungu alijua tu, shetani atainuka. The spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. Hallelujah. Yes, so musikae kama mumeboeka, ama mumefinyika, there is hope. When the enemy comes like a flood, because he has come, and he will continue to come, the spirit of the Lord is going to raise a standard. So what do we do as Christians? Tunasimama ndani ya Yesu. Tunakaa ndani ya Yesu. Tunatamani to decrease. We have the Lord increase in our lives so that we can overcome. Because if we don't have the spirit of God, if we don't stay put in the Lord, if we don't stand firm in the Lord, tutashindwa na majaribu. Majaribu ni mengi. Kwa vijana, majaribu ni mengi. Kwa wazee, majaribu ni mengi. Men have to provide for their families and love their, their women, their wives. Leaders, they are the priests of our houses. It is not easy. There are many challenges. Women, we have to be submissive to our husbands. We have to be mothers to our children. We have to be workers. We have so many things. It's not easy, I tell you. We have responsibilities. Youth, you have to stand firm in holiness, in righteousness, and serve the Lord with all diligence. But it is not easy. Tunaambiwa majaribu ni mengi. The enemy will come. But woe unto us if we are not in the spirit of the Lord. Because it is the spirit that raises a standard. Wacheni tukatamani, kujazwa na roho, kutembea na roho, ushirika na yesu. Mimi nataka ushirika na yesu. Hata wewe tamani ushirika na Yesu. Manapo munapo, manake tunapo shirikiana na huyu Yesu. Ata tushindania. Ata tutia nguvu. Hmm? Ata tupa nguvu mpya. Ata tusaidia. Na rowake mtakatifu. Maana peke yetu hatuwezi. Safari imekuwa ngumu. Lakini with God we have hope. Hallelujah. But our responsibility is to redeem the time. How are you spending your time? A day is 24 hours. I know 12 hours to Melala. We have only 12 hours. Maybe 8 hours to Kazini. These other 4 hours. Do you spare even 10 or 15 minutes for the Lord? Hata mimi na juuliza. Kuna vile saa ingine, tunatoma biblia sande, tunaenda, tunaziweka, tunangoja sande ingine. Hallelujah. Don't we do that sometimes? Ama utuma, unapata ulisoma ile siku ya HBC, ama kama umeambiwa ubiri, Kitu kama iyo, eh? But sometimes tunafunga iyo biblia, tunaiweka huko, tunaingia into our business. Unapata three, four days, may the Lord help us. It's not easy. Wacheni tufanya urafiki na hili neno la mungu, mana ndiyo litatupea ushindi. Tupate nafasi ya kuomba, at least every day. 
Daniel was a young man and he overcame, but he used to pray three times a day. We need the grace of God. And it is possible. We only have to be intentional. Maisha ni ngumu, mambo ni mengi, we are running up and down, una, kuna traffic, unaenda kazini, kuna biashara, unafungua ni kweli. But we are being told to redeem the time. Yesu asikuja akapata when we are busy bodies, running up and down. All these things are vanity. Yes, they are good. Wealth, lazima tupate wealth, tutafute nyumba, magari ni kweli. But let it not dominate majority of our time. Let us spare a little time for the Lord. Some time for the Lord as the Spirit is leading us. And what are we sparing doing? At least read the word. At least pray. At least examine yourself. Enyewe leo nimeshinda kazini, eh, nimechoka sana. How have I lived today? Unaangalia, oh, hapa niliongea, hivi nilifanya mungu nisame. Re-examine yourself. Redeeming the time. We don't know when Jesus is coming. He can come tomorrow. After hii kuubiriote, kuimba, kuomba, kucheza, hatutaki tubaki nyuma. We want to go with our maker when he comes. I was looking at the story of the ten virgins. I was being reminded by the Holy Spirit. Watano walikuwa werevu. Watano walikuwa wapumbavu. Na nunajua tunaongeanga tutu kifikiri tu ni story. It is a reality for us. Are you wise or are you foolish? Am I wise or am I foolish? Taa yako iko na mafuta. Taa yangu iko na mafuta. Yaani hata kama si kila siku, every week, every month, let's re-examine how is my walk with Christ. Hii taa yangu nimeomba hivi vile nafaa. Nimejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu because bila Roho Mtakatifu ndio mafuta yetu wa Kristo. Unajiuliza Roho Mtakatifu aliniwacha bado natembea nikiwa peke yangu nikiwa dry ama nafaa nimurudie. Ni mutamani tena, anijaze tena. You know, aniuishe tena, restoration. Sometimes we find that we are getting dry as we walk with Christ you're getting dry. There are things we used to do. Ulikuwa unaomba sana, ulikuwa unaimba, ulikuwa unaongea na ndimi but inafika mahali unaona sasa nimekuwa vugu vugu it is us personally individually unajiuliza how is my walk with christ am i still at that level yenye nianza na mungu nikipanda nikafika mlimani ama nimeanza kuteremuka ama niko kwa platu niko tu hapo may the lord help us to redeem the time because uh, the, all the virgins were together those who had uh, mafuta walikuwa nayo wengine hawakuwa it is the same case with us kila mtu anafaa ajiulize je taa yangu iko na mafuta day by day week after week if jesus comes is my relationship right with the lord um, when we look at the book of job chapter 14 verse 1 to 2 i'm not here to threaten anybody but i said that is the word that was put in my heart and that is what i will speak number 1 redeeming the time being imitators of christ was the first point redeeming the time in prayer in word in being filled by the holy spirit in doing the will of god and uh, number three will come from job 14 1 to 2 it says a man born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble this verse reminds me Unajua sasa ingine tukipita tukipitia shida tunafikiri Mungu ayuko na sisi ama Mungu ametuacha ama nguvu za Mungu haziko we should never doubt the power of God it is always there it is always present and it is always manifest for us muradi tuko in his presence as long as we are, we will witness but sometimes unapitianga mpaka unaona he enyewe Mungu nilikuwa naomba anakuja siku hizi naona anakawia hakuji attend it's taking so long the power of God is always there and it is always present. But we have been promised that the lives of man, they are short and full of trouble. But the Lord will deliver us from all this trouble. The same word encouraging us. So let us not be discouraged because of the troubles we are going through. Let us know the Lord is still with us. Let us be strong. Let us be courageous and continue serving the Lord. Continue seeking the Lord. It is not time to give up. Because I told you, troubles will continue to increase. And the more we know him sometimes, the more you go deeper, the more unaletewa ile temptation ile kubwa zaidi. But with God, we are able to. So let not trouble discourage us from being in the purpose and in the will of God. 
the word of God asks us, what can separate us from the word of, from the love of God? Because God is love. Nothing. Not trouble. See your shida. See your, you know, not wickedness. Nothing should be able to separate. Not even fear. Let's not allow fear to separate us from the word of God. Even these troubles, they will come. The word of God again tells us, you are not the only one who goes through trouble. Other men have been there before. And all men in this world, they go through troubles. So, usi jione peke yako kwa kona ati mimi ndi onapitianga hii. Sisi wote tunapitia. Ata mimi ni napitia. And we are being told that if you are born of a woman, of which all of us are, our days are few. And this word resonates with the redeeming of the time. Unajua sangine tunakaanga, tunasahau, we are, we are passengers, tunapitia kwa dunia. We are living here, but we are not of this world. We are in the world, but we are not of this world. So, tunaka tu like tuko here forever. We are being cautioned today. Just live like Jesus is coming tomorrow. Ungeambiwa yesu anakuja kesho. Si ungeweka nyumba yako tayari. Look at Hezekiah. Hmm? He was told, put your house in order. But because of the things he did for the Lord, he was able to petition the Lord. Na haka ungezewa miaka. But hata ukiongezewa, itakuja tu kuisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us also not be people who fear death. As long as we are in Christ, sisi wote tutapumzika. For instance, when I look around, eh, in the next 100 years to come, we will not be here, will we? Some of us are on fifth floor. So, plus 100, si only, si fiki 150. Okay, we pray and say we will live and not die. But we will die. A man born of a woman will die. Unless Jesus comes. Either Yesu atakuja, ama tutaenda. Sindio? I have watched generations come and go. I had my grandmother, I saw her, she went. I had my parents, they went. Sasa mimi ndiyo ni kwa kwa parents. Now our children, our grandchildren, our great grand, they are looking at us. Our ni waze, tunaenda, tukiwachiana baton. Ata nyinyi vijana, mutazeeka. But serve the Lord in your youth, okay? A few years ago, I was a youth. And now I am old. And I have never seen the Lord forsake me. I'll say like David, all oh, my children beg for bread. So that is the faithful God we are. So to wish it to kikumbuka, we are not here forever. Our days are numbered. There will be trouble. But that should not separate us from the love of God. Tuendeleni, nakumtafuta buwana, madamu apatikanapo. Psalms 103, 15 to 17, continues to remind us that the days of a man are like grass. He grows like a flower of the field. When the wind blows over, over it, it is gone. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna wimbo ilikuwa inainu bwana bwana kina kasangas. Nani wanajua kina kasangas? I know the youth may not know them. But my generation munajua kasangas. They are still alive. Na bado wanaimba. But hizo siku kuna wimbo waliimba. Maisha ya mwanadamu ni kama mauwa. And they were singing the word of God. It is here in Psalms. Our life is like flowers. It is not permanent. So we need to redeem the time and live here like we are not here forever. Ata tukiomba tukisema, I shall live and not die. It means I will not die prematurely. I will live to the age mungu ametupea 70 na nitaitisha bonus. Mi naambia mungu ata nikifikisha 220 nitafurai. After 120 sitaki nisumbue watu Ninabebwa na wheelchair, nini, nini. Na ninaomba tu mungu wa nichukue vizuri. Enoch walked with the Lord. And he was no more. Hallelujah. The Lord's desire is that we walk with him. We desire to decrease. He increases. We walk with him. And we shall see him. Sisi tutaki kukufa kifo ya kuhangaika. Tunapata accident. Pap, you know. Unavunjika wapi, nini, nini. Iyo ni mekata mimi. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati nitapumzika nataka tu nilale na niende vizuri nitakuwa nimeongea wapi nimwambia hivi hivi hata labda nimekuwa nimehubiri bali mtu akaokoka then niende nilale haleluya that is the death of the righteous unapumzika eh mtu mwenye dhambi akikufa na kufanga akitupa miguu mikono so hata akipelekwa mochari you can tell ile ile design mtu amelala you can tell the death of a righteous it is different from a sinner bwana asifiwe Sisi tukufe kifo cha righteous. Bata tukufi saa. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. So what am I saying? The bottom line of this message, I'm saying we should make most of every opportunity 
we have on earth. Because our time is not infinite. Atuishi milele. And then God will be proud of us. Tukifika mbinguni. Welcome, my good and faithful servant. This is what you did. Ulikaribisha watu watano kanisani. Uli witness kwa mutu mungu wa menitendea hii. Unajua hata testimony inaeza fanya mutu wa okoke. Mutu wa kiona kile mutu wa mungu wa nakutendea. Anasema kwa kweli huyu mungu ako hai. But the picture we are showing as Christians. Ni ya people who are living in defeat. People whose God is not alive. People whose God is not able. Oh may the Lord help us. Let us not ashamed our God. Me included. Mungu atupe nguvu. Atupe neema. Atu revive. Na atupe your boldness and divine ability. To represent him the way he is. A loving God. A faithful God. A mighty God. A neighbor God. Mwenye akuna kitu kinamshinda. So this opportunity tunambiwa, we take advantage of every opportunity. One of the things you need to do is to pray. Pray for those who are not born again. Wewe umeokoka unafuraia wokovu. Wacheni tutamani wengine, walio kwenye dhambi. Wakafuraia huu wokovu. Pamoja na sisi. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, tunataka kila mtu, dugu zetu, dada zetu, wafuraie. Sindio? Eh, tunataka kila mtu wafuraie wokovu. Eh, kwa hivyo ninatuimiza, ninawaimiza, ninajiimiza. May the Lord help us to pray for them. May the Lord help us to study the word in this short time that we have. May the Lord help us to be found in the gathering of saints. And I was being reminded, Peter, when Peter was imprisoned, alikuwa gezerzani na korokoroni. Wengi wetu tukona kwa magereza, watu wetu wako kwa magereza, wamefungwa na pombe, wamefungwa na drugs, wamefungwa na uchawi, wamefungwa na magonjwa. Na tukotu hapo. We are helpless. We don't serve a God who is helpless. Mungu nisaidie na mungu wakusaidie na mungu watusaidie. We are to go out there and take people out of captivity. When Paul was in a prison, the church was gathered in one of the houses praying. They were praying, Paul, ah? Huh? But what, what, what made me also feel, uh, you know, the word of God and God is humorous. These people were praying Paul our chiliwe, but also they were not believing very much, like most of us, like me and you. Unambia mungu, enyewe mungu unaweza tenda hii, lakini back in your mind you're like, inaweze kana. Na mungu pia natusameanga kwa hiyo. You know when these people were praying in the house, eh, God did a miracle in the prison. You could be here praying, na ujui, lakini mungu kule nyumbani kwenyu anatenda mujiza, anafungua watu, anakomboa. Utakutukuja kukupata wamekombolewa ujui how But it's none of our business to know how Sasa mungu alileta malaika Paul alikuwa amefungwa uh, Peter alikuwa amefungwa mikono Miguu, askari wako hapo Gates juu ziko ngapi Hata ye alikuwa tu anasema Mimi wacha tu nikae hapa juu Sasa niko gereza, sina uwezo But because of the prayer of the saints who are gathering Do not neglect the gathering of brethren Alone you will not make it Shetani ya nakuekanga kando, wewe usiende maombi, usiende hii, hii, ka, umechoka, umefinyiliwa na shetani, hapo ndiyo utamalizwa. Just learn to be in the gathering of brethren, because there is power of corporate prayer. Ni hayo maombi yalifanya mungu akatenza mujiza. Mpaka Peter akatoka kwa gereza, akafika, then when the house girl came and saw Peter, she was like, Peter ametoka. They, they could not believe, you are seeing a ghost, but mungu alikuwa ametenda. So katika huu muda muchache tukona wao Do not neglect the gathering of brethren Be there to stand with brothers and sisters To pray for one another And to pray for those that are in bondage To pray for your families To pray for your place of work Even our nation It is looking unto us And that's why kuna giza linatanda katika inji ya Kenya Maana kanisa tumelala Mungu atusaidia tuamuke God is counting on you Hata kama uko miaka 20, miaka 15, miaka 10 God is looking for one man. You can pray and this nation can be transformed. Amen. So tukishikana sisi wote sasa tuombe inchi yetu. We will eat the good of the land. So verse 17 watches us. Uh, verse 17 warns us. Uh, okay, there are many things we can do while redeeming the time. Be co-workers with Christ. And as I told you when we started, uh, the devil is not sleeping. He is snatching away our brothers, our sisters, our children. Our, 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 our
anawashika wasiokoke wasikombolewe wafanye mambo ambayo hayafai because he's seeing the time is not there he doesn't have time so vile shetani maovu imeongezeka ni kwa vile shetani yeye anajua ameamuka na anaangamiza watu kwa hivyo na sisi tufai kulala shetani akiangamiza watu tunafaa kuamuka tunyakue hawa watu wasiende kuzimu pia wakaweze kupata wokovu wa Yesu So the Bible in verse 7 verse 17 is warning us that do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is and that is to keep his commands and for us to understand the will of God again we must decrease we he must increase in us we must be intimate with him